Now, to folks, you're watching Deuce and Guns. I just came down to the farm to do some winterizing. As you can see, it's actually started to snow here in Tennessee, which is not super uncommon, but it is enough to, you know, get our attention. And I happen to be down here and realize that I've got a little bit of a low tire here. Now, I'm not sure if I've got a leak or, no, that's fine. I'm not sure if I've got a leak on this tire or if it's just low in general. So, first of all, let me show you here. Got it zeroed out. I go about 20, around 20 PSI, there we go. About 20 PSI or so, and it, of course, should be about 50. So I'm gonna use the onboard air compressor and we're gonna pump her back up. And here's the view underneath the dash on the passenger side here, and we've got the air system. I'm gonna plug right in there. There we go, and there's a switch right here, a little valve right here, you turn that on. It's pretty stiff. <laughs> there we go, and we have air now into the system. Okay, back around to the driver's side tire and we have air ready to go. So I'll go ahead and disconnect that, connect my gauge here and tire filler, and we'll be ready to roll here. Now the air compressor is only seven and a half cubic feet per minute. So it is not a robust air system at all. It's really just meant for brakes uh, for the deuce and a half and for a trailer if it's towing a trailer. It's really not meant for this, but it is there for an emergency. And now drain the air system without the engine on, so I'm not gonna turn the engine back on to refill the air tanks. All right, 50. We're good. And here's one of the rear deuce tires, and you can see the valve stem is facing the wrong direction. It's facing toward the center of the truck, which is not very, very conducive to checking it on a regular basis or filling it. And that's why we have a setup here where you can hook the valve into there, which goes like so. Here's a close up view of that where you can see where I just take the tire check there and pull back and we got, oh, about 35 PSI or so. So we're not too bad, but I will go ahead and top everything off while we're at it. Alrighty folks, I got everything taken care of as, as far as the tires go at least. They're all put to 50 PSI, which is where you wanna be at when you're driving around under normal conditions on the road, a little bit off the road, but not in snowy conditions or muddy conditions where you really wanna lower those tire, you know, the tire pressure down to I don't know, 20 PSI or so to really bite into the, you know, the mud or snow or whatever. But under normal situations, 50 PSI is where you want to be at. Now this was not an ideal situation. The onboard air compressor is not designed, is not set up to fill up all these tires all the time on a regular basis. It's just not strong enough. Now it can do it. It's not a problem with it. It just takes time. If you have the option of using a, um, a shop-based air compressor, <laughs> use that. Even a little, air, little pancake air compressor will fill these tires up faster than the onboard air compressor because the onboard air compressor is only meant to service the brakes, the horn, uh, the windshield wipers, and that's pretty much about it. It is not designed to regularly fill and uh, deflate these tires. Now the newer vehicles have the central inflation, which requires a uh, many more tanks, a lar larger tank capacity, and a stronger air compressor. This is not set up like that. So again, if you have a shop air, shop air compressor, use that over this right here, but it can do the job. It just takes you extra time. Well guys, there for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you give me a like and go up, subscribe, a lot more is on the way. And remember I do a live stream every Tuesday around 7 p.m. Uh, usually it's gonna be about uh, firearms. Uh, during the winter, it's gonna be about firearms or anything else I can think of in the bunker. Uh, during the summer, I'll probably take you guys out shooting and maybe even driving around in Deuce and a half. But until it's uh, light enough to do that at 7 p.m., I will not be able to do that. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or show what it is, leave that in the comment box below the video. And as always, you guys have a great day. See ya.